Hey -o. <laughs> I want to thank a lot of you guys. The last couple of hours, you just, just slammed me. You know what I'm saying? Caring for me and loving me. You know what I'm saying? A couple of you have actually gone a little bit farther and helped me a little bit. All right? Okay, so I'm going to clue you guys in on my plan. This is my plan. Right now, I'm in Alvarado and Coronado, and I'm headed over to the Safeway. It's where the Western Union is because a kind soul has given me a little bit of money, right? Because I am hungry and I need to eat. I need to stay alive and I need to stay healthy, right? Not eating is bad. You know what I'm saying? You got to eat at least something, at least a couple times a day. But anyway, so this is my plan. Now, I haven't asked any of you for anything, right? Probably not going to, right? But I can't stop anybody from, you know, contributing to the cause. I'm not going to, right? That, a lot of you are probably thinking right now, that would be stupid, Brian. Yes, it would, right? So, this is my plan. You know, par day, right? Accumulate a little bit of money, right? So that I could get to the seventh of next month so that I have my food stamps. And then I have $194 of food stamps. And then that'll carry me through next month, right? Part B, right? You know, the reason I'm accumulating the money is because there's a couple of places where I can go and I could get me a good used bike for a reasonable amount of money, you know, 20, 30, 40 dollars, right? Because I need transportation, I need wheels. Wheels makes it a lot easier, I've said this before, I can go more places, I can get more things done, I can meet more people. There's a lot of, there's a lot of you guys right here in Phoenix or Glendale or Gilbert or somewhere, you know what I'm saying, that watch me all the time because you want to know what I'm going to do next. Right, who potentially, once I get mobile, will say, hey Brian, come over here and hang out for the day. Once again, it would be stupid if you didn't, Brian. Right, see? Okay, part C. Once I get mobile, and I'm stable, and I'm to a point where I have money to eat with, you know, every day consistently, then I'm gonna start trying to figure out where I can go, right, to get away from this city. Because believe me, a lot of you already know this, Phoenix is not the place to be in the summer. All right? Now, a couple of you guys have said, go to Oregon. All right, Eugene is bum friendly. Well, that sounds all good. Well, I'm not a bum. Uh, well, I'll try not to be. <laughs> right? Uh, or another buddy said, go to Florida, bro, jump on the train. Florida's really cold. All right? Now, that sounds reasonable. That sounds like a good idea. They're standing down there in the Keys, they're standing laying on the beach, drinking Coronas, right? Yeah, sure, why not? But, they said, I don't know. They said, I'd probably end up getting, you know, trying to give me a job. I wanted them little fishing boats, you see, I wanted them little private little things, you know, helping out the boss. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Right, stuff like that. I don't care what the work is. I don't. I'm willing to work, right? I'm not gonna buy a sign, I'm not gonna beg. Begging ain't hustle, bro. I had a gentleman, right, earlier this morning, right, popped right up after he watched one video and said, hey, bro, I got a project coming up at the end of the year. We're going to be doing some construction, some little buildings down in Douglas, right? You know what I'm saying? Would you be interested? you damn right I'm interested, right? Dude, that, and this is the cool part, right? I probably already have a lot of the skills and stuff that homeboy's looking for, right? So he messaged me back. We talked back and forth, sent a couple of emails. Got something set up. Right now, yeah, I gotta wait, you know, a few more months for it to come through, but I'm not I'm not gonna just blow it off. Fuck no. Right? I'm gonna be emailing dude. I'm gonna be calling dude. I'm gonna be checking in with dude because dude, look, if I could get a gig like that, you know what I'm saying, and spread out my skill set a little bit more, then the next person that comes along is gonna wanna hire me. Right? And besides, I could probably save a little bit of money, you know what I'm saying, and put myself in a better position. See? So, that's my plan so far, right? It seems to be working a little bit, right? But, you know, unknown to most other streets, right, is that once once you do get something going a little bit, you don't just, you know, walk a couple of days and say, ah, well, fuck, I'm tired of this bullshit. No, you got to keep plugging at it. You got to keep going. I ain't quitting. You guys are cracked, right? Shit. Yeah. Dude, I'm only 59, I still got 25 more years to live, and I don't want to live the rest of it on the damn streets, right? Anyways, 
Just thought I'd clue you guys in. The video's probably 100 miles long. But anyways, so, this is me, Brian. I'm almost there. Gonna get me some food. Thank you.